Former Ohio State Representative Janine Boyd was recently designated by the Biden administration to be director of the Department of Health and Human Services Region 5, which is just a, an area that covers several states, Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. And what's interesting, though, about her is that this is a woman who previously introduced a bill to redesignate racism as a public health crisis. I think this is interesting because I don't think she's the only one who thinks this way. I think this is the way that Democrats are going to go in the future in order to try and redesignate leftist causes as health emergencies and in so doing take away our rights and freedoms. This gives them more power, so really, why wouldn't they? They are authoritarians. I mean, think about the amount of power that was seized under the guise of fighting COVID, right? Because that was a, it was a health emergency and so they had no other choice, they said. And under the, the guise of that, they assumed various different rights. They said that anyone who was opposed to their, would, to their seizing of our rights was immoral. Anybody who spoke about rights and freedoms during that period in which they were mandating lockdowns was immoral, unlike them who were in some way altruistic. But under that guise, they, they took everything. They decided that they had the right to dictate that people cover their faces, the right to dictate that people make certain medical decisions as a condition for employment, you know what I mean. They assumed that they could shut down businesses, and they did. They, ha they had the right to imprison people if they had gatherings or parties of a certain size, that they had the right to tell people that they couldn't leave their homes, that they had the right to shut down churches and end worship. Um, the list goes on and on. That's, I mean, they basically said that because we were fighting some kind of a virus, they have unlimited power over us. And unfortunately, too much of the populace said, yes, we consent to that. And because of that, a precedent has been set, and certain people are going to exploit that. It's rather predictable that from here, all of their causes will become health crises. In most states, there are emergency powers written into actual law that give governors ridiculous amounts of power to fight health crises, and that's part of the problem. And honestly, if you're involved in your local or the state politics, this should be something everyone should be looking at and trying to uh, revoke, because we shouldn't have conditions where a governor can say, okay, we're fighting a, a health emergency, and therefore I suddenly have the power of a king and I can pass new laws, we'll call them executive orders, but they have the force of law, you know, with the ability to imprison citizens, and I'm basically a king from here out. We should not have that on the books. It, it's rather anti-American, you might say. But this whole idea of saying, well, racism is a, is a health crisis, as this woman did, well, then how would we best fight that? Exactly which freedoms of ours should be taken away? Should we lose the right to free speech because somebody might say something hateful? Uh, who knows? Democrats typically fight racism with policies that marginalize and discriminate against whites and Asians. That's how they fight against racism. We've seen it. Uh, we see it pretty constantly, in fact. Or how about one of their other causes, uh, like climate change? Because it seems pretty easy for them to go ahead and say, well, climate change is a public health crisis. Cr crisis. Doesn't seem like much of a stretch. And so therefore, we have the emergency powers to mandate different carbon taxes, to ban the selling of different cars that they don't like, to shut down various farming methods that use too much oil. And by the way, creating starvation in the plan to bring out a great utopia is kind of the communist way. It's what they do. Like, oops, did people starve? Millions of them? Because we, we made a policy? That was a mistake. We'll do it better next time. That's kind of the communist way. Uh, but I digress. I do think we should be paying attention to the fact that under the guise of public health crises, these people can take whatever power they want because we've set that precedent. That needs to be undone. And if, again, if you are involved in state politics, this is something that you should be looking at.